Hey, it's Joel, and welcome back to the JHS Monthly Haul series, where I take a look at all the interesting things that I've gotten in the recent month. This is the Monthly Haul check-in for November 25th of 2021. So as usual, I've got a wide assortment of stuff here in front of me, including plushies, old license plates, toy trains, old bottles, and even a tail light from an old car. So I'm going to go ahead and start just by picking up what's in front of me, as usual. So the first thing that I've got here are a pair of metal rock sliders that I received from my father as a present, so my thanks and gratitude, as usual, go out to him and these will be replacing the current ones that I have on my Axial SCX-10 2 that you can see off to my left or off to your guys's right. Hopefully it's in frame but either way here is the label in case any of you would like to look into getting a set of these yourself. And setting these off to the side the next thing that I have in front of me while we're on the topic of RC cars is actually a big old bundle of wires. So these are servo wires. They're usually called that because they're responsible for supplying power to the servo, which is sort of what controls your steering, but they can also be responsible for supplying power to many other main components in an RC car, like your ESC, receiver, sound modules, lights, winches, and various other things, and I have a lot of them, so I had to get some spare extension cables to run some wiring. But anyways, setting these off to the side, I believe I have some other car related things here that are actually quite interesting. So I'm going to move one of the plushies to the side here. So a couple of the car related things that I have in this little pile include some license plates that I'm going to be putting up in my YouTube shed when it is finished. So this first one comes from Kansas and I believe this is a plate from 51 based on the number on it. I don't really know though. But either way, I got this because I found it really interesting that they used to punch out the shape of Kansas onto their plates. It also weighs quite a bit compared to normal modern plates that I've held. And then the other one that I've got here is a slightly older sort of sunset style California plate that was last registered in 1995, a year before my Jeep was manufactured. So that's pretty cool. But either way, setting those down, the other two things that I have here on top of the pile are some light switch covers. So the first one that I've got here has a red Corvette on it, and the other one that says Historic Route 66, which is pretty interesting. I'll be putting this one up in my room, and hopefully, eventually, I'll be able to put this one up in my shed whenever it's finished. But setting those down, the next thing that I've got here is a Thomas & Friends Trackmaster 2 Thomas model. And the reason that I got this one is, as I stated in my previous monthly haul for October, I wanted a normal version of Thomas as opposed to like the mud splattered one that I got last month. And this one is, well, the normal version of Thomas, which is nice to add to my collection because I've got a lot of older Thomas models that go all the way back to Tomy, even classic Tomy, and the original Trackmaster, and Hit Toy Company, everything in between. So this one's nice to add to my little collection. The next thing that I've got here is actually, yet again, a, another present from my cousin Devin that he sent over from Ohio. So this is the Ultimate Nerf Blaster book, and this sort of documents all of the different blasters that I've existed existed throughout the last couple of years. Uh, well, more like last couple decades. It goes all the way back to the 1980s when Nerf made their sort of debut with their Nerf Indoor Bowl. But this is really, really interesting. It goes over a lot of blasters that I do actually have, like the original Recon CS6, the Retaliator, and a bunch of other ones that I collected back in 2018 when I was really into this hobby. But my thanks and gratitude go out to Devins for sending this over. I'll definitely have to give this a closer read. The next thing that I have here is another one of my little steel posters, I guess you could call it. I'm not exactly sure what these are called. I've had a couple of these before. I don't know what their proper name is or what you're supposed to call them, but this is a steel sign, I guess you could call it, that has Ford F100 on it and has a Ford F100 on it. And it says Ford Motor Company here at the bottom. I picked this up because I really, really like Ford F100s in general, and I like the paint scheme of this one with the black and red. So this one will probably be going up in my room somewhere, and if not, it'll go into storage until, well, as many of the other things I've shown in this video, it can go up in the shed. But anyways, setting that really, really cool Ford F100 sign off to the side, just because I want to, let's move to some of the plushies real quick, take a break from the car stuff. So this first one that I've got here is a Chip Flake plushie. And for those of you that might be unaware, Chip Flake is a storytime animation content creator here on the platform that makes really, really nice animation content that, in my opinion, is really enjoyable to watch. I've been watching him for a couple of years now, and when I saw that he had a plushie, I was like, oh man, I've gotta have that. And he arrived, I want to say, a week or two ago, and, well, I'm very, very happy that I'll be able to add this guy to my little plushie collection. He's got his adorable little blue eyes, his mouth there with his brown spots, brown ear, brown tail, brown feet, his adorable red handkerchief. I mean, I think everything about the plushies are adorable. 
Anyways, setting this chip flake plushie off to the side before I keep on talking about how adorable I think it is. The next plushie that I have here is a Solar Saber plushie, and much like Chip Flake, Solar Saber is yet again another storytime animation content creator here on the platform, and I got this plushie for one of many reasons, one of them being that it's made by Corgi Beans or Build a Fur, and I've gotten a couple plushies from them in the past, and my personal opinion is that they're made really, really nicely. They make great little display pieces. I mean, let's be honest, they're adorable. They very accurately represent the fursonas or the characters that they're trying to represent, Overall, I think they make amazing products, so in case any of you would like to look into them, there will be a link to their website as well as their card here in the description. So yeah, there is the Solar Saber and Chip Flake plushies that I'm just going to lay yeet onto the bed. And just like that, we're back to car stuff. So this next thing that I've got here is a old tail light from a car that I got from Treasures and Junk, which in and of itself is a place that I could probably talk about for quite a while. I mean, I could just walk around there for hours and hours looking at all the old interesting stuff that they've got there. I mean, this headlight is only one example of the many, many different interesting things that you can find there. But what I plan to do with this is uh, deassemble it and uh, get it all cleaned up and looking nice. And then I want to get some replacement bulbs for the back and then turn it into like a little uh, shelf ornament or like a desk warmer. I think it'll look really, really cool as a little thing to just sort of sit in the corner and look at. You've just got to appreciate the architecture of older automobiles. I think it's a really, really interesting topic in and of itself to look into old stuff like this. But setting this really heavy tail light off to the side, the next two things that I've got from Treasures and Junk here while we're on the topic of the place is two Pepsi Cola bottles. So these are limited edition bottles that are replicas of Pepsi bottles that you would have seen between the 1940s and 50s. Yes, I read that off of the back of this bottle. But I picked these up not because of that, but because of the really, really interesting design that they've got in the glass here, which says Pepsi Cola. And it just sort of has a nice, interesting design going in between the words there. It's also got a nice print here on the main part of the bottle as well as on the top. And then I got two of these because, well, I had to get one to get the other. So, um... I mean, I'm not going to complain. If I break one, I'll have an extra. But setting these off to the side, now let's go ahead and move to some other stuff that I've got here. So this is uh, some wires. I got these for just random projects that I might be working on because I always find myself lacking in having spare wires to uh, do stuff. I mean, they may just look like a pile of trash sitting in the corner when you're not using them. But if you're working on a project and you need to fix something in a pinch, these are really, really nice to have. Setting those off to the side, now I've got a light bulb. So this is a, a light bulb that I got for Halloween. I was experimenting with doing some Halloween shoots with my RC car, which as some of you that may or may not follow me on my Instagram saw, it didn't go the best. But either way, now I've got this for next year, so maybe I can try it again next year and not fail as much. But setting the light bulb off to the side, well, um, I think we've got to address the fact that I've got a lot of Hot Wheels again. So these Hot Wheels that I've got here came from a couple different locations like Pegasus, which is a hobby shop that I really like going to that's here in California. They've got a lot of amazing new stock from RC cars, RC planes, uh, model trains, Hot Wheels, uh, models in general. They got some really, really cool stuff there. I definitely recommend checking them out if you're around um, Ontario, California. So the first two that I've got here are some Hot Wheels from the Art Cars series. So the one here on the top is a 80 El Camino and the one on the bottom is a Road Bandit. So I got these, well, because as you can see, they're very, very colorful and my friend Deegan has a El Camino himself, so I picked this up for him. But setting those to the side, the next two that I've got here, this is a, a fig rig as well as a carbonator. So this is a New Year's edition for 2019, which I believe I have a 2018 version, so I got this to go along with it. Setting those to the side, the next two Hot Wheels that I have is a 65 Mustang Fastback as well as a 68 Mustang. That's actually funny. Both of these are Mustangs. I didn't realize that. So the one on the top here is a older Hot Wheel and the one on the bottom is a newer one. Setting those to the side, the other three Hot Wheels that I've got here are some special editions from a Hot Wheels series that I don't know if it has a particular name. But I like the sort of um, art design for the box as well as the cars themselves with the orange and blue sort of scheme as well as the box artwork. And as I said, I was only able to get three of the five, so hopefully I can look around and find the other two models, which in this case are some pickup trucks as well as a 64 Chevy Cervelle SS. So hopefully I can find those in the future. And then the next couple of models I've got here are from Matchbox. This is a five set with a CJ5, or excuse me, a CJ7, a Ford Bronco, Ford Mustang, 
a Fiat Mini as well as a Jet Fighter. So these ones already opened up because I really wanted to look at the CJ7. My stepfather's got a YJ, which is sort of similar. So I wanted to take a look at that. And speaking of, my stepfather was actually the one that got these for me. So my thanks and gratitude, of course, go out to him as usual. So the next thing that I've got here is some stuff from the How Ridiculous YouTube channel. And to explain what they do here on YouTube, it quite literally is as simple as saying they drop stuff, they break stuff, and they have a lot of fun. I mean, I enjoy watching their content like when I'm down I could just click on one of their videos and it'll lighten up my mood almost immediately but this one has Rexy which is sort of like their mascot character and then on the front here it just has a nice sort of little rainbow effect how ridiculous logo and setting the shirt to the side here these bouncy balls that you may or may not have noticed that were just sitting here these actually came with the shirt these were included in the package and I believe these were actually used in a little video that they had made where they dropped I want to say like a hundred thousand or some odd uh, bouncy balls into the middle of a uh, field or sort of like a gymnasium sort of deal and they bounced all over the place it was a really really fun video to watch and yeah i got a handfuls quantity as they worded it and yeah so there's my little collection of bouncy balls from how ridiculous themselves so yeah uh, thanks for the balls so the next and one of the last things that I've got here is a ceiling fan pull ornament that I got from my grandmother. So as usual, my thanks and gratitude go out to her. But this is a little airplane sort of a model that you can hang from your ceiling fan. As you can see there with the little thing they connect to the pull string, as it says on the uh, packaging. And well, this sort of hangs like that, which I think is pretty interesting and adds a little bit of vibrancy to a rather boring and bland piece of furniture. So yeah, once again, my thanks and gratitude go out to my grandmother. So the last thing that I've got here is a Kelvin Klein jacket that I got from my stepfather. As you can see there, Kelvin Klein, it says that they're inside of the collar. And this jacket is really, really comfy. I've worn it maybe once or twice now. Overall, it's a really, really nice sweater. I love the sort of red and black scheme it's got going on here. It's also nice and fuzzy on the inside. So my thanks and gratitude definitely go out to my stepfather, Steve, for picking that up for me. And with that, I was Joel Homie, your guys' host for the November 25th or 2021 monthly haul check-in. If you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it, 